Hey, I'm Smita. In this video, we will understand about the Billing Details section on Interact. Under the Billing section, here are the tabs that we will cover. We will start with the Invoice History tab, where you can track all the invoices billed to your account till date. We will then take a look at the Subscription Details tab, which will have the payment information and details of the plan that you have subscribed for. We will move on to look at the Usage History tab where you can view the usage across specific features on Interact. Lastly, we will check out the Credits tab with the details of the credits that you have earned on Interact and the Organization Detail tab where you can view your business and tax details. You can now decide who gets to access the billing section by assigning permissions accordingly for each of the three roles available on Interact. To know more about this, watch our video on Team Settings. To access the Billing Details section, you will have to go to the Settings icon on your Interact dashboard and click on Billing Details. So first up, we have the Invoice History tab. Here you get to view all the invoices that have been billed to your account. You get to see the invoice for your subscription plan, which includes the monthly subscription fees that you have paid to Interact based on the plan that you chose and the usage charges based on how many unique users you have interacted with in the given billing cycle. You also get to see the WhatsApp notifications invoice which is based on how many notifications you send every month. You get to see the payment method, amount and the status for each invoice. These invoices are also available for download in the PDF format. Now if you ever have any invoice for which the payment did not get automatically deducted from your default card, you can make the payment for such an invoice here itself. Coming to the Subscription Details tab, here you get to see the date on which you will be billed every month. This depends on the date on which you started your Interact subscription. So if it is on the 10th of March, you will then be billed on the 10th of every month. Right below, you can view the details of the plan that you have subscribed for. You can also see that your account is currently active. If you'd like to know more about pricing and WhatsApp's notification charges, then you can click on Learn more and you will be redirected to our FAQs which will give you a detailed breakup of the charges. You also get to see the default card that is currently being used for all your payments. You can even add a new card if you wish to and change your default payment option. Below, there is a button to initiate cancellation of your subscription with Intract. We will now move on to the Usage History tab and look at how you can track the usage of notifications and unique users that you've acquired on a daily basis. The billing on Interact depends on two main factors, which are the notifications that you send out and the unique users or contacts that you acquire. In this tab, you can view the daily count for each of these two features. Here, you can see the daily count of notifications that you send out. This count includes any WhatsApp template that is being sent out directly from the inbox or as a part of a campaign. This count that you see here is an upper limit that includes all the notifications that you have sent out in this period. Your actual bill will be either equal to the count of notifications shown here or less than this count but not beyond this. You will be billed only for those notifications that were sent outside the active 24 hour window with a user. You can see the date wise breakup of these notifications here. Now, similarly, in the Unique Users tab, you will see the count of unique users that are added every day. And here on top, 
you get to view the total number of unique active users in a month for which you will be charged for as per the subscription plan. Finally, we are now going to cover the credits and the organization details tab. In the credit section, you will get to view any credits that you have earned on Intract. Currently, you can redeem your credits only against your WhatsApp notifications invoice. This section shows the dates on which the credit was added to your account and the invoice against which your credits were redeemed. Along with the amount that was credited, you also get to see the balance that is remaining here. The last tab here is the organization details page where you get to view and edit your business and tax details as required. The business email ID that you add here will receive all the billing related communications from Intract. So there you have it, that's a quick look at the reports and insights from the billing section on Intract.